Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maria Peters and this week I am bringing you a mixture of planning and work. You've all seen this planner before, if you've been watching my videos. If you've been watching from the start, you will have seen my old work planning video. And I wanted to show you how I use this planner for my work. Okay, how have I gone from a dozen different planners to just one, one small book? This is my November book. And my pen. So this is the current week we're on. This is currently Tuesday. So what I tend to do, let me show you a blank one, this is tomorrow. My day is split down into four sections. This is what I get done before I start work. This is what I get done when, well from when, I have to pick up my youngest son up until I've sorted them out in the evening. And this is my, my relaxation and family time. So this section here is what I use for my work. I still use my Kanban board and I still work out daily what I need to do. But let's just write in here. Today's focus. I hope you can see that okay. Still NaNoWriMo. I still want to write 2,500 words. Little pep talk. You are nearly. After tomorrow's 2,500 words, I will be at 45,000 words. So by the end of the week, so by Friday, I should have reached that ultimate 50,000 word goal. But my aim for the month is to finish the first draft of 70,000 words. So I've still got a way to go, but Friday I should have finished and won NaNoWriMo. I need to... Update the NaNoWriMo website. If any of you, any of you aren't familiar with NaNoWriMo, it stands for National Novel Writing Month. And um, thousands upon thousands of authors do this every year. Every November, they challenge themselves to write 50,000 words. It's great fun. It's great fun and you get lots of work done. Win-win. I also, tomorrow I've got a video coming out. I need to check that it has gone live. By the time you see this, hopefully you will have already watched that one. Um, it's just showing my Traveller's Notebook collection and how I've added to it. I also need to do my admin. Um, and make sure my buffer
and I use Buffer to schedule my social media and I'm having issues with it uploading to Instagram at the moment. So every day I need to just pop into Instagram, make sure it's uploaded. If it hasn't, I just have to manually do it. I need to make sure that I deal with any emails and that I deal with any messages, replies. I like to check my stats, see if I've sold any books, things like that. Just general bits and pieces that I do every day. And then lastly, I need to study. I should finish chapter six today. Um, so if I do chapter six online and BDs, as well as a workbook and activities and writing to do, I've also got online activities and CDs to listen to and DVDs to watch. Hopefully I can get all of that tomorrow and as well as start chapter seven. I always leave myself a little bit of room just in case anything else comes up. You never know whether there's a last minute project, something that I've forgotten to do. I always like to give myself a little bit of wiggle room. So that is what I do. And then Thursday, I will do the same. Friday and Saturday and Sunday, I yes, I do work seven days a week. Usually it's just little bits and pieces, but when I'm writing, I tend to write seven days a week. It puts a little bit of strain on my time, but I work with it. So I won't go through everything because most of the days at the moment are looking the same. Um, obviously, apart from the YouTube channel today, done my admin and buffer. I've actually written my words for today and it is only 10 past 10 in the morning i've been up since 3 30 i couldn't sleep so i've done that i'm filming my video now i'm going to edit this upload create a thumbnail and i've got a meeting this afternoon i need to make some notes on but that's my work done um so this might seem a lot, but it's not. I still get to um, have quality family time. I still get to do the housework, much to my disgust. I've still got things to do. I've still got Christmas to sort out. I've got my son's birthday coming up. He's gonna be 10. I wanna get so much sorted out for that. And we're on lockdown still. I still get to live a life and work and try and make a go of my career. That's what I do. That's how I fit my work life and my home life and everything else in one book. Highly recommend it. journal nearly finished it oh if you ever see um what's his name draw with rob he's on youtube draw with rob he's absolutely brilliant he's a children's author and illustrator and he takes you through step by step on how to draw his characters and i know it's a silly little bird but i love it um but um, yes i've nearly finished this journal what i have got I bought myself a little wallet insert so I can put cash in there, my cards in there, put a piece of acetate over it. I um, can't remember where I got this one from. It's just one I had lying around. One ton in a million, I think. Because otherwise it's a bit plain, so I wanted to sparkle it up a bit. But yes, that's it. That's the video for this week. Well, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up.
please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit that notification bell so you know when I've got more videos coming out. And I will see you next week. Bye.